Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial and today we're going to be trying something different. We're going to be doing video editing in Blender 2.8 and uh, the reason I'm doing this is that I want to create a, a channel intro for my YouTube channel, Top Channel 101, uh, but I thought instead of doing it using different programs of like uh, After Effects or uh, Premiere Pro, I could just do it, I could try out using Blender 2.8 and see how powerful it is uh, in that uh, aspect. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do, so I have already recorded the audio that I'm going to be using uh, for this. So let me play it back for you. And uh, Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to Top Channel 101. So, so it's about 45 uh, seconds, but I want to trim it down uh, to something like uh, 30 seconds or less. Uh, so yeah, let's see how uh, Blender will help us do this. So uh, let me close this out. And uh, so there are two ways to import videos in Blender. You can let me first delete the cube. Uh, you can uh, just drag the video directly into uh, your workspace. And uh, if you play back, you can see that uh, the video is playing. Uh, but the problem is, uh, is that uh, right now you can see that uh, the video is playing. I just recorded this in OBS. I wanted to make it very fast and simple. But uh, the audio is, uh, the video is playing, but the audio is not there. So. The way to do this is uh, to import it, to do this correctly, you would just go under uh, uh, this uh, button here and uh, add a new workspace, video editing. And this is our sequence editor or our video editing workspace. Uh, this, this allows you to layer different video elements and uh, edit them while previewing your work in this workspace. So let's import our video edit, our audio clip or video clip. Uh, so I'll just drag this directly here. And you can see when you drag in, uh, you get these uh, two strips or layers. Uh, one is for audio and another one is for video. So make sure when you're moving them around, you select both of them uh, so that you move them at the same time. Uh, you can select each individually, but uh, that will, if you do that, you will uh, run into audio sync issues because these are supposed to be linked together since one is the video strip and the other one is the audio strip. So if you play back- and welcome if we play back right now, you can see that I can, let me make sure that uh, my desktop audio is not too much. Yes, so you can see that uh, the audio is there and uh, the video is playing. Uh, the problem is that uh, it's too slow in the view area. So if you look at uh, the frame rate here, it's playing back at around one frames per second. That is very slow and uh, almost unusable. Uh, so. And the reason for that is that uh, Blender is trying to render uh, the entire video at its uh, resolution. And uh, the video was about 1920 by 1080, that is full HD. And that's what uh, Blender is trying to render it at. Uh, that is unnecessary since we are not viewing in full screen. So my monitor is uh, 1920 by, 20, by 1080, but, uh, but you can see that uh, uh, the preview window is very small, so we are not using that all of that resolution. So there is no reason for Blender to render that. And uh, since we're just editing, uh, we can get away with working with less resolution. So Blender has an option to set a proxy at which you want to preview uh, your audio, uh, sorry, your video. Uh, so that is just a percentage of quality uh, for what you want to preview the video at. So let me make sure that uh, my audio and uh, video starts at uh, zero frames. So I'll, s I'll box select this and drag uh, so that I'm selecting both uh, the audio and uh, the video clip and uh, drag them to one. And you also notice that uh, when I'm moving around, moving these strips, uh, because our preview resolution is still at full resolution, it's also slowing down Blender a bit. Uh, so let's get this one, let's uh, try to create a proxy uh, at uh, maybe at around 25 or 50% uh, of the current uh, quality of the video uh, so that we don't run into those issues. So uh, if you have the video selected, you can go under proxy and you can you can go under these settings here, which, uh, which you can access by pressing N on your keyboard. I, I wanted to switch on uh, my shortcuts here. Uh, the problem, they are not visible in, in editing mode. So that's the problem if you're wondering. So yeah, so I just hit N to bring up these options. And uh, you can see if you select uh, the clips, you can set a proxy and rebuild uh, the proxy. 
So first let's click, click set so that we can set the percentage, uh, the quality, yeah, the percentage, the quality percentage of the clip we want to preview, uh, the preview percentage we want. So uh, if you set it at 100%, that will be 100% of uh, the, uh, the, the, the video, which is exactly what uh, it was before, but uh, there, there will be some compression. So that means that uh, it will compress it, but uh, it will try to keep the resolution or the size of the video at uh, the, the original size. Uh, so it will be lighter, but in the same size. Uh, but uh, I think if, if you go to 50% is good enough, uh, but I will just go down to 50% because I'm not going to use this video clip anyways. I just want to show you how you can compress yours. So just hit, uh, just select the percentage you want and then hit okay. And that will set uh, the, uh, the, the percent the preview resolution and then after go to rebuild and uh, it should rebuild uh, your video so the proxy will be saved in your directory uh, where you had where you had your video so make sure that uh, you don't just delete it when you are after rebuilding in your folder so after it's rebuilded uh, if you play back you see that uh, Nothing has changed yet uh, because it's still using uh, the original uh, quality. So if you go in the view area, you can hit N on your keyboard and I should get some options here. And uh, what we want is the uh, view settings. Under view settings, you can see we have show overexposed uh, and then proxy. So you can see that uh, it's right, right now it's rendering at uh, scene render size. But what we want is to get, uh, is to use the proxy we just uh, we, we, we just rebuilt. So uh, since we rebuilt 25%, we will select that. And uh, you can see that uh, the resolution has changed uh, to a high quality resolution. I don't know if you can see this uh, through uh, OBS, but uh, so this is 25%. It was at full render, no proxy. Uh, you can see the quality. And uh, so can I, I want to see if we can play this back without rebuilding a proxy. So I think you can, but uh, it won't It won't be as fast. So let's put it back at 25, where, uh, the, the same percentage that we rebuilt and play back and see. You can see that uh, the frame rate is now 30, 30 frames per second, uh, which is better than uh, the one, per one frames per second uh, that we had before. Uh, so, depending on the the power of your machine, uh, you may you may want to increase this to maybe fifty percent, uh, so that you have better resolution and uh, also a good frame rate to preview at. Uh, but because uh, my machine is not too powerful, so I, you can see even at twenty five, uh, the frames are drop, but uh, it's still uh, a usable frame rate. So I will just keep it at twenty five. But uh, anyway, I'm not really going to be using this image, uh, this uh, sequence here, uh, the video part. Uh, so I can just select that strip and delete it. So I think it's the bottom strip. So if we delete that, you can see we won't have any video now. So if we play back, we just have a blank space. So you can import other videos. So let me import, uh, I want to import, uh, one of the renders that I just did. So let me find it. This here. And uh, since this uh, never had any audio on it, uh, then that's why you don't see that uh, there is audio on that. So. And uh, you can see that uh, this one, without even rebuilding this, uh, is playing back more smoothly uh, than what we had before because I think this is a lighter uh, a lighter video than what we had before and I think I don't know if this proxy is yeah if you I don't you, you if your computer can handle that can handle it you may you don't even have to rebuild uh, uh, the prox the strips are uh, using the rebuild proxy uh, so you can select uh, the proxy you want here because you can see if I set it to full render it's barely playing back so let me can I mute this can I mute this 
yeah so yeah, that's a good option so if you want to mute the audio you just select other strip and then under strip settings here uh you to bring these settings you just hit n or just click on this chevron icon and then you either click on that uh, to bring back the audio or unclick it to mute the audio so if i click this you can see let me make sure that uh, my desktop audio is on yes so it's on so yeah you disable the audio clip like that so let's change this back to 25 percent so again if your computer can't handle it you can because you can see it's playing back but uh, it's still in uh, a lower frame rate so it's about 15 per 15 frames per second so if i wanted to get a better frame rate i'll just have to rebuild uh, this proxy and uh, so that we get some compression over that uh, so i just go under proxy make sure you're selecting the right clip and then set proxy 25 and then rebuild uh, so if you see that uh, it's just not rebuilding and not rebuilding just make sure you have strip select this option here and uh, try again you can see now it has rebuilt if it doesn't make sure you sorry if if us first try it doesn't make sure you click on this option and then check the settings you want here and rebuild so you can see now it's uh, playing back at a higher frame rate than what we had before uh, before it was around 15 uh, 15 uh, frames per second and now it's uh, 25 frames per second uh, the quality is really not good but uh, I can I, I'm okay with that because you're just trying to edit something so let's look at how we can edit this strip maybe make a cut around here so to make a cut you can move move the timeline indicator to the position you want to make a, to make a cut go under strip and you should see some of the some of the options here we have a soft cut and a hard cut so k will just make that cut and then shift k hmm, I'm not sure. I, I don't even see the difference here let me let me undo this and see what shift k does I haven't really tried uh, shift K yet. Interesting. Not seeing any changes. So K to make a cut, then shift K. I'm not sure what a soft cut is. I am not sure. Maybe it was, yeah. The only important part is making the cut. So let's delete this. So to delete, you just hit X or delete on your keyboard. And so let's take out this and uh, move uh, this part closer here. Now, if we play back and see, let's get another clip uh, to put in there. Uh, if I have any, let me see. Let me see if I can get something. Let me just use this here. Again, make sure if you're moving the clip and I want uh, the audio to be synced, uh, just make sure you are moving uh, the two clips. Uh, so in Blender 2.7, there was an option to group this. So let me see if that still works. Yeah. So if you use Ctrl-G, you, you can group uh, the two clips so that you only have to worry about one strip when you're moving uh, that around. Uh, that will make sure that uh, you your video is synced to your audio and uh, when you want to edit that you just go to edit mode by using the tab key like we do in layout or in modeling so yeah that's a good option there so uh, but i don't need the video i think you can also ungroup by using uh control alt g is it yeah control alt g to ungroup now since i don't want i don't need the audio i can just delete that i think this this is the audio i think uh so they are color coded so this uh i don't know what color this is i think it's a greenish blue color uh teal uh, is the audio and uh, this purple or bluish i don't know what color that is that uh, is the audio so let's delete the the uh, the audio and then keep uh the video you would also have to rebuild 
rebuild this part, uh, this audio, uh, this strip as well. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead, but uh, I don't need to, since I'm just showing you how to, to do this. So let me find some something interesting here. Oh, by the way, you can also scale uh, the strip by, by using S. So that will scale your clip. Let me show you, let me zoom in out, zoom out so that you can see what's happening. You can see that will speed up uh, your video since you're scaling down and the time are from the original time. So let me sh uh, show this to you here maybe. So you can see that uh, if we play back, this is the speed at which uh, this video is playing back. But uh, if I wanted to make it faster, like a time-lapse video, you can just scale this down by using S. You just select the clip and then hit S and then you can scale it down like that. Hmm, I think this is actually clipping it, not scaling it down or making it faster. Let's So you can also clip it by just dragging these end corners. So they have changed a few things since 2.7, 7, but uh, yeah, so most shortcuts I we use are for modeling are available also in uh, video editing. So you can try them out and see what happens. Uh, G is for moving the, uh, the, the clip around scale you you is a way to trim trim down uh, your 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 clip uh, like that so you can see yeah so since i've got the basics down in the next uh, video a bit uh, we'll start working on the animation uh, for for our intro so thank you for watching